Yeah. Yo, 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 what's going on, Faithfuls? The Nothing But Niners crew is here, man. Bring you guys some more breaking news. We told you guys, man, if it happens, you're going to hear about it here first, okay? We already got an article, so you guys make sure you check out www.nothingbutniners.com. Zach has already put out an article announcing this new signing, another guard added to the mix, man. But before we get to that, Nick, what's going on, baby? How you doing? What's up, baby? What's up? What's going on, man? I am... Man, I like this move. It's a depth move, man, and it's uh, going to bring in some competition, and I'm excited, man. We had the R Richard Sherman presser today. Now we're bringing you some more breaking news. So overall, man, it, it looks like the offseason is going pretty well, and these guys are, are strict on getting who they want for this system. So enjoying this uh, stupid blizzard that we're getting too. So you be, be safe out there on those roads getting home tonight. Yeah, absolutely, man. I, don't worry. I'm pulled over in a parking lot right now. I'm off to the side of the road so we can do this breaking news. Just like with the um, the Daniel Kilgore trade stuff, the, the cold world, I'm still out here in the tundra, man. But listen, man, Jonathan Cooper, uh, used to, oh, he was a 2013 first-round pick by the Arizona Cardinals, picked at number seven. So this guy had a ton of potential, um, and he fits the mold, like you said, of what Kyle Shanahan is looking for. This guy is 6'2", less than 310 pounds. Uh, that's the kind of guard that they're looking for. This is why the 49ers weren't looking at an Andrew Norwell, and this also might be, might be, why the 49ers aren't even looking at a Quentin Nelson in the draft, even if he were to fall to us at nine. I know uh, I said that on Twitter, and Stewart, Stewart, uh, one of the writers for Nothing But Niners, so locked in on Twitter, uh, he hit me and was like, Mike, watch the film. He doesn't play like he's that big. But it doesn't matter if he plays like that now or not. He's young. He's supposed to move a little bit better, right? Kyle Shanahan has a fit. He has a type of uh, guard that he likes on his interior offensive line, and it's 6'1", it's to 6'4", and less than 310 pounds, and um, Jonathan Cooper seems to fit that bill. Some other interesting tidbits about him, he's coming off of MCL surgery this offseason, um, but he is expected to be ready by the offseason program for the 49ers. So it's a depth signing. Uh, seems like it's going to be just a one-year deal. I haven't heard the contract details yet, but it seems like it's going to be a one-year deal. Uh, Nick, you have any thoughts on all this, man? Yeah, like I'm like I said, man, I, I mean, I know you're excited uh, to see Joshua Garnett on the left side. Um, hopefully we can get him actually starting this year. But um, I like this move overall with depth, um, bringing in to uh, compete for this starting job. Yeah, he's coming off MCL injury. He's played 42 games in his four-year career. He's a, a former first-round pick, seventh overall. Um, seventh overall. And um, if John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan see something in him in this type of system, I completely – and 100% faithful to what they see in this tape and, and analyzing of players and who they're bringing in. Because, I mean, if you look at our rookie class last year, um, pretty much all of them, except for Joe Williams, touched the field and actually competed and uh, played well in this system. So I have 100% faith in John and Kyle. Um, once again, welcome to the, to, uh, to the squad, Jonathan Cooper and, uh, and Richard Sherman with that press conference today. Yeah, um, another thing about – about this guy, Jonathan Cooper, is that he played left guard for the Cowboys last year. He started 13 games after some injuries. I'm wondering what side they're going to put him on. Um, I wouldn't be opposed to him staying at the left guard position um, and then trying to see if the new Joshua Garnett can bump over to the right side. This offensive line is going to look completely different than it did last year. Um, the, the competition is going to make these guys rise to the top. Magnuson doesn't have a cakewalk getting a position now. Um, neither does Garnett even. And who, what's the other guy? Tom, Why am I drawing a blank? Tomlinson, yes. Yes, Lincoln Tomlinson. Is, it's not a gimme anymore. These guys are going to have to earn their spots because the, the, the Niners are signing these guys from all over the place. It seems like if uh, a guy becomes available from the NFC East, we're all over. We're grabbing them up <laughs> quick, fast, and in a hurry. But, you know, it is what it is. Hey, man, that's what you got to do. They're, they're on top of their game. They're studying who's, who's there, who's not, um, who they want, and they're, they're not overpaying for these guys. Um, sounds like this one year contract could actually be a, um, a prove it deal, um, which in regards to us, it could either work out or it's just, it is what it is. Um, I'm excited to see a different O line this year, though. I'm completely excited. I, I hope that is completely revamped. And this kind of throws off, I know it's just, a, I know it's a competing spot, but like you said, this kind of throws off. What are we going to do with that number nine overall pick, man? I think John Lynch has something up his sleeve, man. I really do. Yeah, that is uh, that remains to be seen. But 
it's, we, it feels like we can pretty much go anywhere. And because we have that kind of flexibility, that also means that we can move down. So um, the Niners are going to be a team to watch in this upcoming draft. Um, and the one more thing that I want to add to this before we before we wrap this up is that every time we pick up someone, I can't help but think that it's to improve the run game. I don't think that this is all to help out Jimmy Garoppolo necessarily. I think that these guys are coming from places where they're physical. They, they are in attack mode. These guys going forward look very impressive on film. All right. So that means that Kyle Shanahan and uh, Bobby Turner weren't too satisfied with what they were getting from the running back positions. Um, and they, they are attacking that from the interior, from the inside of this, the offensive line. Um, these moves say that the run game should be a lot better this year. Open up some holes, let that speedy guy that we just picked up in McKinnon run through and do his damn thing. Uh, and then that's going to even make it easier for Jimmy Garoppolo when it's time for the play action passes and things like that. Yeah, man, it's it's going to be an interesting offseason. It's going to be interesting camp with all these additions that we're adding for the competition. But you know what? You can never have enough uh, bodies or depth at that guard position. I mean, we've we've gone through for the last three years. I can't can't even go over how many injuries we've sustained on the offensive line. So um, whether he's a starter or he's depth or, uh, you know, Zane Beatles is cut or Tomlinson or, or um, whoever, whoever it is that gets that starting position. I have faith 100 percent in John, John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan. I'm excited to see what happens. I'm good, man. I think that's it for this video. We're out of here, right? Make sure you check out the link below for nothingbutniners.com. The article has just been released as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can find us. You go to nothingbutniners.com. You can find us on all of our social media avenues there. Um, and make sure you hit that subscribe button down there. And make sure you give us a follow and like. And if you listen to our podcast, uh, make sure you go over there, give us five stars, and give us a good rating. Above all else, guys, stay faithful. We out.